Women love an artist. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that's why it's called the Mona Lisa. Not a lot of people know that because when Leonardo da Vinci painted it, all the ladies saw it and moaned. <laughs> Little known art fact. Oh, and thank you for our oh, art education this morning. Sounds like we have a modern day da Vinci on the phone with us. His name is Nathan. And I say that because Nathan apparently took the girl he wants to call today to a painting class. Oh, fun. And Nathan, did she moan? <laughs> a little. What? Nice. Come on, right. Nathan. Not yeah. right off the top, all right? Listen, we got to work up to that kind of information. I mean, I'm a good artist. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Before you tell us about the date, first of all, what's her name? Her name is Madeline. Madeline, all right. And how did you meet Madeline? We met online. Okay. Cool. And what, yeah. what stood out about her? I got to say, she just kind of had these, these eyes, these nurturing eyes that kind of resonated with me and okay good i'm glad you described the eyes i thought you were just gonna leave it out she had these eyes and i was like whoa <laughs> you don't have very high standards do you nathan <laughs> no it did it was really your eyes and they, they stuck out to me okay. okay i mean is that how you opened with her like with a compliment about her eyes i did i did i mean <laughs> At Good. Work. Okay. Yeah. So, well, other than you hitting her up online about her eyes, obviously you guys went out. Otherwise, you wouldn't be on the phone for a second date. Tell us about your date. Well, I don't know. I thought it was something that we could talk and be interactive. So, we did an art class with like wine and yeah. And had you ever done one of those painting classes before? I had once before. Okay. Yeah. Not as a date. Well, how'd it go as a date other than just painting with your bros? I mean, I thought pretty well. <laughs> was there like a moment that sticks out about the date, whether that's good or bad? Yeah, she she liked my work and she nudged me and she was like, you're like a modern Bob Ross. And I was like, all right, I'll take that. Ooh, yeah, because yeah. there is nothing sexier than Bob Ross. No, no. <laughs> real. Those happy little clouds. They are very happy. <laughs> is that all you did then? Went painting? No. We went to go to my apartment to actually hang it up. Oh, that is a oh, smooth cool. transition. Ooh, was that your was that your idea or hers? Because that's a pretty slick line. Mm -hmm. You know, I said that I would like to hang it up, and she said, "Well, let's go hang it up at yours." She volunteered to come with me. Okay. Oh, All okay. right. And who held the nail? <laughs> she did. Hey, All right. Nice to touch the nail, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened back at the apartment? Did you? I mean, was it on? I made her tea. Um, just like very relaxed, chill, and it was all good. We hung up the piece of work, and is that the only nailing that happened? <laughs> I know, like get to the juicy part. Regrettably, you know, first date, first date, I didn't want to go too far, gentlemen. Okay, but after we hung it up, uh, it was kind of weird, frankly. She told me she had to go meet her maintenance guy at her apartment. What? Okay, that's well, a yeah. that's a weird excuse to leave unless she like had an appointment and knew about it earlier but you think like she would have told you that i don't know i thought that was really weird because usually maintenance guys have keys to the building mm -hmm. and I, I don't know i thought that was really weird was this was this like a friday night was it late it was friday it wasn't crazy late it was like 10 30 11. It's well, 10 30 or 11 yeah it's, guy. A, it's that is kind of late <laughs> i mean maybe but i don't know we were having a good time it just okay. seemed out of the blue so that was it she left to go meet her maintenance guy <laughs> and did you get a kiss or a hug or anything like that yeah i gave her a hug and it didn't feel like you know she didn't pull away or anything it felt nice That's good. and then she left why do i picture her using maintenance guy in quotes like air quotes around it when she told you <laughs> whoa like she's running off to the next guy or something i don't know or something else yeah something other than you wow. anything other yeah. than you is what it sounds like <laughs> have you talked to her since she left I haven't heard from her at all, no text, call in about four days. And you've tried hmm. to get a hold of her? I've definitely tried to get a hold of her. Hmm. So it seems like an excuse then. What do you think could have gone wrong? Well, the only thing is, like, I like really strong teas, and I do, you know, teas can have effect. And uh, my experience, girls don't love, you know, using the bathroom. So maybe that was just her quick idea to get out. And because of the go cheese? The well, I mean, there are some teas that. Yeah, do a number on your system. Oh, tease. And, and it, I couldn't tell if you were yeah. saying tease or cheese. <laughs> Both tea. can cause problems. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you're thinking maybe you gave her tea and it had a laxative effect and she's embarrassed now? Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, well. All right. We'll, well play a song and then come back and call her and see if that is the reason she's not calling you back, all right? All right, that'd be awesome. Okay, hang on. We'll get your second date right after this.
Right in the middle of a second date, and if you're just joining us, Nathan is on the phone, and he wants to call a girl named Madeline. They went out to an art class together and actually went back to his place to hang up the art, and that ends up being all that happened. They literally hung up the art. She had some tea, (laughs) and then she made probably one of the lamest excuses to get out of a date that we've heard in second date history. So congratulations, Nathan. (laughs) You have now made the record books and getting blown off in the worst way possible. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> she told Nathan she had to leave at like 10 or 11 o'clock on a Friday night because she had to let a maintenance guy into the building. You know, even she in her head was like, really, a maintenance guy? That's yeah. all I could think of? And now Nathan is not getting a call back. All right, Nathan, we're going to try to get her on the phone. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Be prepared, Nathan, because I have a feeling you did something really wrong that you're very clueless about. All right. Well, let's find out. Okay, right, here we go. I'm going to dial her phone number right now. Hello? Hi, is this Madeline? Yes. Hey, Madeline, how are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. Okay. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. What's this about? Oh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm calling you today because we got an email into our show about you. Why? Why? <laughs> Another good question. You're yes. full of good questions, Madeline. Because we do a segment on our show. It's called The Second Date. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask what happened. And we got an email about you from a dude named Nathan. What? Nathan? Yes. Do you remember going out? With a guy named Nathan? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Nathan emailed us because he said he had a really fun time with you. And he thinks that your excuse to leave late on a Friday night that the maintenance guy needed to be let into your building was just a really horrible excuse to get out of the date. And we all agree with him, by the way. Yeah. That sounds like the biggest excuse ever. I don't remember what excuse he used. I already blocked him. I don't understand why you're calling me. I don't. You've even blocked him? What? Yeah. Why? 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 He said that you guys went back to his apartment. Was there something creepy in there? It just freaked me out. It was just really weird. Can you tell us what was weird? I just got this really bad vibe when I walked in. The the place was just super clean. Like, it was just weird. I got a really bad vibe and creepy feeling. Was there, like, something specific? Because super clean and he sounds like a nice guy who didn't want to push you to do anything you weren't ready for on a first date after an art class yeah (laughs) i just got this eerie feeling when i walked in it was like serial killer clean like serial (laughs) serial clean like everything wiped out not a speck of dust it was just so strange (laughs) no guy's apartment sat clean so So you're saying his place was too clean and it creeped you out Yeah. That's it? (laughs) He had a clean place, and that's why... No, you got to understand, though, it wasn't just clean. Like, it was like a team of people came and wiped this place (laughs) clean of fingerprints. It was just weird. And, and you you know, when you just get that feeling inside, it's like something bad happened here. What? I need to go. It made you think what? Like, do you think he's... You think he's a serial killer or something? No, I, I don't know. But I'm just saying it was way too clean. And something's wrong with that. <laughs> maybe he's just, you know, one of those OCD types that really like a clean house. Or maybe he read the decluttering book that everybody reads. And It's not that clean unless you just moved in and took the plastic off of everything. There was nothing out of place. It's like a museum. <laughs> I think he All sounds right. dreamy. Can he move into my house and improve some things that I've got going on? Go for it. That's on you. Be my guest. I don't want to be anywhere near him. What about on the phone with him? Uh, no, I don't even want to talk to him. Oh, that's a shame. Because he's actually on the other line listening right now and wants to talk to you. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Unless you hung up. Nathan, are you still there? I'm here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um... Hi, Madeline. Hi, Nathan. Uh, I guess you heard all that. Yeah. You know, I, I don't see a problem with my apartment being so clean. It might not be a problem. It just, it's unusual, and I'm just not used to that, and so, yeah. (laughs) Madeline, you're being really nonchalant when you were basically just accusing the guy of scrubbing his house because there was maybe dead bodies earlier in the evening. She didn't know he was on the phone.
Oh. Wait, but that's what it sounded like. <laughs> like you're getting rid of all fingerprints. Nathan, have you killed anyone in your apartment? I have not. I'm sorry. I just got a weird vibe when I came in. and um... Madeline, why would you want to be dirty? <laughs> why would you want that? What? I don't. I'm just saying your place is like so clean. It's just freaky. I mean, I have had people comment on how clean it is, but I don't like dirty things. Dirty things really upset me. Okay, so okay, now I'm starting crazy. to get okay. a little bit on Madeline's side yeah. now, Nathan. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> see? See? I'm not crazy. I don't Nathan, think he meant it like that, yeah. you guys. Did you mean it in the way you that it sounded? Because it sounded super creepy the way you said that, yeah, Nathan. Yeah, you said upsets you instead of a noise. Uh, no, I just, I didn't mean to be creepy. <laughs> you guys, give this guy, Madeline, I feel like you're missing out on possibly a really good guy because you're making a lot of implications on just a clean house. I, I can clean my own house, seriously. <laughs> Why? I mean, would you rather have a dirty boy? Because I've known dirty boys and I refuse <laughs> to be a dirty boy. What? Why is he like... <laughs> Are you just That's messing with us now, Nathan? Nathan, are you are you are you like doing this on purpose? Doing w- n- no, doing what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I, I've told you, if dirt is bad, it's the enemy. And if I see dirt, I will get rid of it. I like a clean apartment. Get rid of it. <laughs> see, guys, what happens if I come in and my shoes are a little dirty or something like that? Like if we did. there will be no dirty shoes in my apartment. Oh, okay. Because I would ask you to take them off. I just don't like dirty things. <laughs> okay. But Nathan, what happens if I? What happens if we're eating and I drop something or spill something or make a mess? Then what? Then we'll clean it up right away. <laughs> okay. You aren't you going to get angry at me? I do not get angry. I just clean the dirt. <laughs> I feel like we're, this is so strange. Yeah, I mean, Nathan, you're obviously passionate about cleaning. Huh. Very. <laughs> Madam, l- listen, if you come over again, I will show you that we can make something dirty together, and then I will clean it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. like a great huh. Yeah, it does. <laughs> On that note, I'm just going to ask you, Madeline, would you like to go out with Nathan on a second date? We will pay for it, Please even if it's no. cleaning supplies. As tempting as that is, I'm okay to not go. Yeah, you sure? I feel like trusting your gut may not be a bad choice for you. Well, you know, Madeline, I'm really bummed that you'd rather date a dirty boy than me. You're making a mistake. Stop saying oh, dirty God, boy. No, just... All right, Madeline, so take care, because the dirty will be judged. Goodbye. What? Oh, my uh, God. Okay, I think you need to do uh, more than just block him. Madeline, are you still there? I'm a little freaked out and scared. Yeah, I, so I, yeah, I got rid with the blocking, and here you guys opened that back up, like freaking Pandora's box. He doesn't know anything about you other than your phone numbers and stuff, right? Yeah, he doesn't know anything. He probably doesn't even know my last name. I, I blocked him on everything. Okay, okay. good. Yeah, all right. Safe. Yeah, uh-huh. you are safe. <laughs> and I feel sorry for all the dirty boys out there right now because Nathan sounds like he might be fired up to do some cleaning tonight. <laughs> I hope not.